Well, go hit him back. Hit him back with a balloon. Knock his ass out. Go get him. Just get a balloon and hit him back with the balloon. No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, y'all. We got the G35 in the building right now. So, I was driving. It's hot today. And it's like 90-something degrees outside. Let me show y'all real quick. All right, so the, I mean the AC get colder here and all, but I just wanted a little colder. Let's start it up real quick. G35, yeah, let's get it. All right, so now I'm inside my garage, but of course now it's saying 89 degrees, but when I pulled up, it was saying it was 96 degrees outside. But either way, it's super hot outside. It's hot enough, so. But this AC works and everything. It's cold and everything in here. Like, it gets cold. I just want it colder. So, I'm just going to put a shot in there real quick and figure it out, bring you guys along. Um, so, I just turned the AC on. We're going to let it run for a second. And I'm going to show you how cold it is right now. God damn it. What? Can't even make a video and shit. Huh? All right, hold on. I got the infrared gun right here show y'all real quick oh g didn't find all right so i'm gonna show y'all how much how cold it is now let's see i've seen it as as cold as 48 um and that was earlier when it was warmer outside so right now, yeah, 61, hold on. I know it's gonna get colder than this, but I can feel it. 54, like I said, I've seen it as low as like 48, 46. I wanna get down to like 30, 34, 30, 29. I think 29 is like the coldest I've ever gotten in any car, so. Hold on. There's a 47, 40, 47. So it's fluctuating. I mean, like I said, this AC is working pretty good. All I want to do is just, I just want to add, I just want a little cold. Motherfuckers. These damn kids just throwing water blooms around my damn car. What the fuck? The hell is he doing? They got a whole, they got a whole bucket out there. All right, so we got the car running, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to um charge up a G35 real quick. Let me get a light. It's pretty easy y'all so you got your uh your high and your low side right here okay most cars that say l for low and high for high all right so i mean h for high i'm sorry so this is the high side i heard a little bit of pressure come out of there which is a good thing okay and you want to take this one off Now you got your gauges right here, okay? So, we can hook up our gauges. So you got your, your low side here. I'm gonna hook them up to your low side. Make sure it clicks in there, okay? Right now it's closed. Get your high side. Get your high side on. Okay, so the high side is on now. Now, if you don't got gauges, I don't expect you to do it this way because a lot of 
you do it yourself is might go and grab you know a can from AutoZone or whatever and all it has is the low side um, but I'm using gauges so I got the high and low side you really want to be able to read both sides because then you know what's really going on all right so um real quick we're gonna uh we're gonna i got the ac running right now so we're gonna open up the valve to see what we got on the low side hold on yeah these are cold all right so that's the low side right there you see it jump down to 30 uh what is that like 32 and then this is the high side let's open up the high side real quick see i'm opening up the high side turn it to the right to open up the vibe all right open it all the way up all right so as you can see we're sitting at 175 so it's 90 degrees outside so really you want to be probably a little higher than 175 so it's a little low and this high side is going to go up a little bit um i could show you our chart real quick but you could google a chart the chart will tell you uh where your gauges should be at um relevant to the outside temperature okay so what we're going to do is i got my tank here all right all right so hold on you're only going to fill up on the low side all right you're not going to fill up on the high side so you keep the lot the high side closed and you're gonna everything's going to happen on the low side all right so we're going to um we're going to open up our tank real quick tank up real quick all right so the tank is open again i'm only going to put a shot in there real quick all right so we're going to turn it over all right hold on let me sit this where I got that sitting where I wanted to sit up. So now you want to make sure you bleed the air out of this system first before you go trying to shoot this refrigerant in there. But if you just if you just open up this valve, the pocket of air is going to go into your system. So you want to you want to bleed out this line first. The line coming from your tank, bleed that out. And you're going to use this right here, this cap. All right. So you want to open this up. got it open that up that's something i can remember this thing was leaking i don't know it's been a minute last time i used this i think i charged up the armada so you want to get something and press this valve here and let it bleed out until you get refrigerant hold on Yeah, guys we're gonna get a uh we hanging out for the d's garage you already know what i got on the tv right now that's all we're gonna do damn y'all see it it's 87 degrees in here 87.4 turn on the light ew ew i turn on the light you can barely see it with the light on We about to lose. All right, so let's see what's up. Now, what was we doing, y'all? All right, we was getting something to to bleed it out real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. We're gonna get something to uh. Alright, 
So you want to penetrate this. All right, y'all see that? Y'all see the refrigerant coming out now? Y'all see that? All right, so we purged it, all right? So we got all the air out, and now we got straight fluid, straight refrigerant coming out. So, now I know once I turn this on, I'm gonna get nothing but refrigerant and not air in my system, because you don't want air in your system, all right? So once, once I turn this on, you're gonna see the refrigerant flow through there. All right, it's a little sight glass. Okay, you can see the refrigerant. So let me open it up real quick and we can see the refrigerant flow. Hold on. There you go. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all see the refrigerant? See it? See that? And as the refrigerant go in there, your gauge is gonna go up, okay? The gauge is gonna go up. So I let a little bit in there this hose is getting cold. Everything is getting cold. We're gonna, hold on, let me get the gauge. My thermometer. We're gonna verify to make sure it's getting colder. All right, y'all, so we inside the Infinity G35. Let's see what we get out of this. Let's see, let's see. Look, I'm already down. I'm already down to 37 degrees, y'all. Y'all see that? Philly D don't play around, hold on. I'm kind of hanging through the window. That shit was hurting me. I'm getting old, y'all, getting old. Let's see what we got coming out this vent real quick. Remember, I would like to get around 30 degrees, no higher than 34. But I told y'all I wanted 29, didn't I? Did I tell y'all that? Philly D is nice with it. Can you imagine if you was driving in your car and you had 29, 28 degrees inside your car? 27? Wow, and I didn't even press the gas yet. Hold on. Press the gas a little bit. Get that refrigerant circulating through there. Y'all seen it though, that shit went down to 27 degrees. If y'all want y'all AC to be 27 degrees, let Philly D know and I'll come through. Just hit me on the phone. What's that, 30, 30 degrees? Y'all see it, y'all ain't gotta see no more. I just wanted to do a quick shot and that's what we did, all right? Now we're gonna let that run a little bit more. Let that circulate. And all I did was put a little bit in there. Y'all saw how long it ran. It didn't run that long. You know what I mean? I simply went from 30 degrees, I mean 30 pounds uh, on this side. And look, I went up to 200 on this side. So I did add something in there. See, that's all it takes, just a little bit. Now if you put too much in there, it could, your AC could come out hot. Believe it or not, if you put too much, it's gonna get hot. If it's not enough, it's gonna be too hot. If it's just right, it's gonna be just right. That's how y'all do it, y'all. I appreciate y'all hanging out with Philly D, man. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. That's all I wanna do is share the information. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, that's a, what's that, a cutlass? I don't know what that is, what is that, a cutlass? It's a G body, I know that. With a 442 in it, okay. It's an Oldsmobile. That is a cutlass, I think. All right, y'all. So, make sure when y'all done with this, you close your, you wanna close your valve up. Hold your valve, hold on. Close your valve. Close it all the way. 
all right now you still got refrigerant in the lawn so you can open this up real quick and let it take out whatever's through that line let it suck it out real quick that's all it takes right there that's all it takes close your valves up Real easy, y'all, real easy. Take your valves off, get your couples off just like that. Store them back up here where they go. Get your low side, close it. Now this process, this process is pretty similar to all cars. You know, all cars got a low side and a high side. So you just gotta find a location uh, where it's at on your particular car and it's pretty much the same way every single car There's no other way to charge and recharge or to recharge the AC system, you know, unless you're using the machine But you know, this is pretty standard way right here. So put your caps back on Okay Run your caps back down and yeah guys, so that's how you charge your G35 and pretty much anything similar. Um, that's how you do it, man. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. Hit the like button if you liked it. Share it. Subscribe. And I'll check y'all on the next one. Alright y'all, so you know we had to do some bonus footage. So as you can see, it is 90. The temperature went up. 95 degrees all right and here i am about to pull out pull the car out and i saw as low as 23 degrees i think that is officially philly d's lowest ac temp vent temp ever hold on y'all let's just just give me a minute come on baby show that the subscribers was really good thirty two degrees is already cold y'all mind you that hold on let me make sure I got this, this gauge right hold on there you go you got a twenty nine right there Come on, man. Give me that 23 again. I was sitting here. I was just double checking again. And the temp just kept dropping and dropping. I'm like, yo. We got a 27. Let me see. 